Our next guest is here to save us, to rescue you from all those piles of paper in your home. Yeah, I got lots of them. Patty Claire is here, <laughs> and uh, you, you've told us how to organize a lot of stuff, and this is one of those things at my house, it's either a big bowl or sometimes it's a canvas right. bag, but it ain't right. Well, you know, despite the fact that we all want to go green, we still have myriads of mail and paper that come into our house, either through our mailbox, our mail slots, or our kids and we have to find a way to keep it at bay and to keep it under control. So <laughs> I usually tell my clients the important thing is have one drop zone for it so that everybody in your family knows where the mail is going. If you can't deal with it right away, at least it's all in one spot. And really with just a few simple items and a very simple system, you can keep your, your paper pile up What's the under first thing control. to do? First thing to do is make three folders, a to-do, a file, and to read. These are really the More three. More paper. Well, yes, but at least they're all corralled. Um, these are the three items that you're going to do with every piece of paper that comes into the house. When the mail comes in and once you begin to sort it, you want to try and have your drop zone as close to your recycle box and your shredder as possible to okay, make sure. Okay, so we're, we're going to throw our, our junk in here then. Well, or the stuff that's going to compromise your identity. And right. then anything that's not is like going to go uh, in your the recycle. the credit card solicitations. Right. So mail comes in, you go through your junk mail first, stuff that you have not asked Electric to come into bill, your... gas bill, right. insurance. <laughs> right. True. Anything that compromises your identity goes right in the shredder. shredder. Okay. Anything that's unsolicited, um, goes right in the recycle, recycle bin. You bin. don't okay. need it. Now, what's the recycle? That goes in the garbage that goes out on the curb that's the recycle yes. right. container. Yep. Okay. Now you don't, don't recycle your credit card solicitation no, those stuff because right in the, that can get you in trouble. Right in the, right. the shredder. Okay. The next thing I go through is I put together all my catalogs, flyers, magazines, and if you are not going to be ordering anything right away, mm -hmm. rest assured with the holiday season coming up, you're going to get another one of these, I guarantee. In so don't save it because I want to look at it later? If you're not going to order it, why would you save right. it? Right, recycle. You're not interested. So recycle. Because I'm the junk man. Right. I right. save everything. Unless <laughs> you have Reader's Digest in the bathroom, you don't need the catalog. So <laughs> okay, right fine. Through. Thank you and very much. And then, of course, if you get magazines that you don't even order, um, I must have somehow gotten on these, this, these magazines. Yeah, recycle. Recycle, recycle. or save the back because oh. I want to get off the mailing list. Oh, I, okay. I don't even want it. This box so is getting that, full. That yeah. goes in here, and then this would go in my to-do file okay. because I need to call them. If um, you uh. don't order from these particular stores because you don't go to them, right. they Recycle. go in too. So then you're left there with... There might be a coupon in here. Doesn't there matter. There might be, but if you, if you don't use coupons, you let them go. If you do, you can tear okay. out the ones you want, put them in your to-do file. You don't want to want to buy something with a coupon that you wouldn't have bought otherwise. Exactly. Yes. Be frugal. Right. Exactly. And magazines that you might want to peruse, you could put in your read file. Okay. And then once again, if you're not going to order from those, recycle. In the recycle. Okay. So the go only back thing here, see what we got... threw out that's still good. <laughs> what you have left now is probably your most important mail. Okay. Bills. Honestly, there's so much you can get rid of. The outer envelope can go and recycle. Okay. As can the little. You know, right, piece of right. Insert. That always goes. So the in only there. thing you have left now is the bill and the return envelope. That can go until you can pay online and exactly. just be done with that. So now, out of all of that, We're you have it. one right. that goes in to do. Now, is it better to go in to do or just say, right now, I can pay this online in two seconds, just do it and be done with it? Well, the thing is, I like to sit down and, and really compromise, uh, not compromise my time. I might have eight or ten bills that might build up and I mm. just pay them all at once. Okay. So, and then you might have, like, you, you know, every once in a while we do break down and have personal right. real mail. And it a might Christmas be an card invitation or from something. the mosses. Yeah, right. that's exactly. right. That, 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 I get you one every five years. <laughs> I can't do that every year. Or it's too much. Or an invitation that you have to RSVP, so okay. that would go in your to-do. And then um, companies always give you the option to go green, so you can always opt out of mailings that you don't want. But if you get insurance policies, those would be things I want to file, so those would go in my file folder. Okay, okay. what about all the stuff you get from your kids if your kids are ready to go to college? There we go. Well, here you go. This is really, this saved me um, when I'm my children were getting mail every day for this. Up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. You remember Just that. Oh, yeah. purchasing a very simple tab um, system from Avery in a three-ring binder notebook, what I did was I took all four of my children, put a name next to um, each of these tabs and their individual activities. Ballet, soccer, seventh grade, football, all that stuff. So anytime something came in from the teacher, the coach, the music teacher, it all went in here and I always had it accessible to me at a moment's notice. Okay. And I never was running around trying to figure out where the soccer game was, did I have snack schedule, or if I needed to contact the teacher. So a little time in the beginning saves you a lot of time later and you don't yes. have all the junk around. And your mailbox is empty. That's what I like to see. Yes. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Thank well you very done. much. Thank you. You're full of good ideas. <laughs>